Welcome back. The next one I'm going to show you is a list box control. Now, how boring would this video be if it was just a simple list box control? A list box control is, uh, imagine a control where you can list a number of items, whether or not you have multiple columns in those items, and the user can pick one or more items and do some action with those items. Now, a typical use of a list box control is a paired list box control. In other words, a list of items uh, in one spot, you pick and choose, and they're, they dump into another spot, or vice versa. So let's say let's say a user can have, and, and this is a good one for, for roles and users. There's a number of users, there's a number of roles. Uh, for a given user, they have an zero to, to many roles, and there's zero to many roles that exist. So if you want to assign roles to a user, um, that's a, a perfect example of a dual list box where you can move things to the left and to the right. And then when you're complete, you can execute the, the changes based on what is left in those two boxes. So I've got a couple of static boxes here. Uh, this is a, a, a Telerik example for their list box control. Now this one, it's not bound to any data items. It's uh, the, the data that's in the list boxes is static. If you look at the code behind, I simply just um, am adding a number of looks like countries to a list box. Uh, but let's take a look and see how it's rendered. I've got two list boxes, one on the left, one on the right. This is things that are selectable. These are things that are selected. So imagine if I, I'm holding down the control key. Uh, okay, so I don't have m multiple things enabled. I can I can make a change and do that. But let's say I wanted to select Australia, e England, and South Africa. And as I select, what happened? Not only did they move out of this list, they moved into this list. I mean, <laughs> let me tell you, that's a lot of coding to do. And it's it's sort of a built-in control with uh, one of the Teller list box controls. Once it's over here, I can reorder it. I can reorder things on this side if I had that option turned on. I can move everything over. I can move everything back. I can move one at a time. I can move things and then delete. So if I delete Mexico, I, I suspect it should be deleted from both boxes. Mexico is gone, and Mexico is now also not a choice. Like I said, that it's it seems like a, a kind of trivial. This is a big uh, a big leap in programming. This sort of this paradigm is used over and over again. Let's see how difficult it is to make a change. I want to make the change to be able to reorder this side. I believe it's just a parameter change. So if we go back to the list box, the the first bit of code here. Oh, I I got one more thing for you, and let me just do this first. So I'm going to look for uh, allow. Allow reorder equals true. I'm pretty sure that will give the reorder to the box. Let's see what happens. Now, if I'm making a change in ASP, I shouldn't have to re, uh, relaunch the code. I should be able to just make a change and, and refresh the page, but I, I launched it again. Take a look at Chile. If I want to take Chile and move it around, I can. This is the reorder. This is the move one at a time. Remember the multiple select. I said uh, what was the choice in that? I didn't have I didn't have it set so you could do multiple selects. Let's see how difficult that is. It's probably. Let's take a look at the uh, to get this list of of IntelliSense. I just uh, hit space. Allow automatic updates. Allow transfer duplicates. Auto post back. Wow, it's like a thousand different things here. Believe me, one of these is select multiple. Selection mode equals multiple. Let's see if that worked. I'm going to run it again. Now the multiple is going to work like every other multiple um, control, and that's holding down shift or holding down control, probably control. I'm holding down control and it's multiple, just like it's it, it's expected to be. I've got four things I selected, I click over, and they're moved over. Uh, I can remove, I, again, I can reorder. 
Now, what would normally happen is I would have those two list boxes and then uh, maybe a button down here that basically says, once I'm set this, execute. And let's say it was roles, I would use this one as the, the target. And I would look to see what I removed from this list and what I added to this list and make the appropriate changes and then rebound the, rebound the forms. Now, if you look, I don't have... I don't have this bound to any control, but that's not, it's pretty easy. All I would have to do is select a data source, right? So if I said data source equals, and then either in the back end or the front end, set one of the BLLs to it, and the other two pieces it's looking for is data, data uh, source, any text field, that's what's going to be displayed, and data key field is the key item. So if it was something like um, role ID slash role name, role ID would be key field, role name would be data text field. Pretty straightforward. Excellent. And by the way, the, the code behind for this one, because um, there's not much to it, there's no code behind. It's all done in the front end. Let me close that grid. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you, if you, I kind of, we kind of glanced over it twice, but take a look at it one more time. I'll close these two guys. Notice what didn't happen. When I click over, I didn't get a repost. It did not repost, but it did the work. How in the world does that happen? So in other words, if I want to see data change, or the controls change, there should have been a repost. In the, in the earlier example where I had the, the drop down and the grid and the drop the grid was going to be refreshed by the drop down, there was a screen flash or a repost. Didn't happen here. And the reason why, if you look back in the code again, what's wrapped around this list box is this control. The rad Ajax panel. So this control, the list box that sits in here, is is what they call Ajaxified. Meaning an Ajax is an asynchronous JavaScript post. It's a it's a post without a post. Um, that's a, that's all it is. So you don't have to run the post method to refresh your controls. It's sort of done uh, on the fly without a post. Example: Let's say you're you're on ESPN and you're watching your sports scores and you're not clicking the refresh button, but but magically your scores are refreshed every five seconds or every thirty seconds. That's done with an AJAX call. Awesome. Uh, AJAX is not a Microsoft thing, that's a web thing. But basically what it is, it's it's running, remember the two kinds of code you can run, you can run uh, HTML and you can run JavaScript. It's a way of running JavaScript um, on the fly without having to run HTML. Pretty neat stuff. Usually you see it with data, but this, this control um, makes sense to be Ajaxified. Excellent, hope you like this tour. See, I'll see you in the next one. I'll post this under list box. I'm not going to change anything with it. If I do something data uh, oriented, I'll create another list box uh, form. Thank you.